I'm Joe. I'm Joe Condon from London. Uh, both uh, Mr. Buffett and Mr. Munger have addressed my question at, uh, in annual reports and at previous meetings here. This is my first time. It has to do with investment in a few great high technology stocks. Uh, I know your answer has been that if you don't understand it, and I can't after this, this performance, can't really believe that uh, both of you don't understand most of the, uh, the high technology questions. But I'm thinking about not only Microsoft, but say Pfizer and J&J, &J, uh, all three companies which have already proven that not only do they have a, a great product, uh, proven management over 10 to 15 years, great market share positions, which are not easy to get into. And I frankly don't see a big difference in, in the PE ratios, for example, if you say Coca-Cola, uh, or you know, against Johnson Johnson or Pfizer, which are very powerful companies. I wonder if either or both of you would uh, address that question again. Charlie, why don't you? <laughs> If you have something you think you understand that looks very attractive to you, uh, we think it's smart to do what you understand. If we'd been unable to find companies that fit our slender talents, we well might have been in the Pfizer's and Microsoft's and so forth, but we'd never had to revert to it. We don't sneer at it. Uh, other people with more talent have, have found that a wonderful course of action. We, we generally look at businesses. We feel change works, is, is likely to work against us. We, we do not have great ability, we, we do not think we have great ability to predict the, uh, where change is going to lead. We think we have some ability to find businesses where we don't think change is going to be very important. Now, at a Gillette, the product is going to be better 10 years from now than now, or 20 years from now than 10 years from now. You saw those earlier ads going back to the, going back to the Blue Blade and all that. The Blue Blade seemed great at the time, but they, they keep, the shaving technology gets better and better. But you know that Gillette although they had that little experience with Wilkinson in the early 60s, but you know that Gillette is basically going to be spending many multiples the money on, on developing better shaving systems than exist now compared to anyone else. You know they got the distribution system, they, you, they got the believability. If they bring out a product and they say this, this is something that men ought to look at, men look at it. And, and they found out here a few years ago that the same thing happened when they said to women uh, to look at it. Uh, uh, in the shaving field, they wouldn't—they don't have—they wouldn't have that same credibility someplace else. But in the shaving field, they have it. Those are assets that that can't be built, and they're very hard to destroy. At, uh, uh, so change, we think we know in a general way what the soft drink industry or the shaving industry or the candy business is going to look like 10 or 20 years from now. We think Microsoft is a sensational company run by the best of managers, but we don't have any idea what that world is going to look like in 10 or 20 years. Now, if you're going to bet on somebody that is going to see out and do what we can't do ourselves, I'd rather bet on Bill Gates than anybody else, but that I don't want to bet on anybody else. I mean, in the end, we want to understand ourselves where we think a business is going. And if, if somebody tells us the business is going to change a lot, in Wall Street, they love to tell you that, you know, that's great opportunity. Uh, they don't think it's a great opportunity when Wall Street itself is going to change a lot, incidentally. But, but it, they, it, you know, it's a great opportunity. Uh, we don't think it's an opportunity at all. I mean, we, we, it scares the hell out of us because we don't know how it's going to, how things are going to change. We are looking, you know, when people are chewing chewing gum, we, we have a pretty good idea what, how they chewed it 20 years ago and how it will chew it 20 years from now. And we don't really see a lot of technology going into the art of the chew, you know. But, uh, so that, as, and as long as we don't have to make those other decisions, why in the world should we? I mean, you know, if I, that, uh, all kinds of things we don't know. And so why go around trying to bet on things we don't know when we can bet on the simple things? Zone one. I can see the shareholders like us sticking, uh, <laughs> sticking with the simple ones so they understand us, yeah. 